What's up, keepers, and welcome back to ARS Goalkeeping. In this video, we're going to take a look at the full infield review of the new Adidas Ace Trans Ultimate. True to its name, the Ultimate is the flagship glove of the new transition line, and it comes with absolutely all the bells and whistles. The Trans Ultimate comes in a contact maximizer cut, which is a massive cut style. It's even more expansive than any flat cut out there, making the Trans Ultimate a massive looking glove. There's Evo Zone latex on the palm and a special latex on the fingers, even though there doesn't seem to be much separating these latexes other than the red and white color schemes on the palm, which also has an abrasion zone. The Ultimate comes with both fully removable finger saves and a unique wrist stabilization that you won't find on any other Adidas glove. Although it is cool to have, I personally don't use either the finger saves or the wrist stabilization. I prefer to trust in my hand strength and not rely on the gloves as much for proper technique. It was simple to slide on the ultimates, the neoprene wrist entry stretches out and snaps back in place easily, but the contact maximizer is an insanely wide fit. I even went down a half size and there was still acres of negative space on the palms and fingers. Personally, I like my gloves to fit a lot closer to my hand, and I could see myself going down a whole size and a half just to get a tighter fit. Because of the loose nature of this fit, I found it a lot harder to hold on to most shots and felt a lot safer just parrying the ball. The ultimates did slide a lot, especially at first, but as I got used to this wide cut, I was able to use it better to smother harder shots, but overall my handling was definitely hindered by the fit. I do wonder if going down another size would make it a perfect fit, but I wasn't ready to gamble so much on the size. I would definitely recommend trying these gloves out in person before de deciding the fit since they do run very large. Grip wise, the Evo Zone Latex performed extremely well in its first two weeks of use, but as is common with the Adidas gloves, the tackiness doled out after some time, and the loose fit on the Ultimates made it seriously difficult to hold on to shots. This is probably just because my hands are long but thin. The enormous contact maximizer cut did not make it any easier to control the shots and I did get a little used to the cut after some time and I was able to make some holds. There I could see some way that the cut helped some other shots completely and the material used and the stitching quality is all top of the line. Even though the fit does run big, the Trans Ultimate were still very comfortable and if you could find the right size for you, I do believe this could be an amazing fitting and amazing performing glove. Performance wise, the Trans Ultimate did their job well. I made some very good saves with these gloves but felt the loose fit definitely led to some minor jams on my fingers. After making a ton of saves with them, I would really like to see how the Trans Ultimate performed when I have the proper size. I imagine I would be holding on to many more shots and feel just a little more comfortable in the net. So let's take a look at our gloves after a month's worth of use on mainly grass fields. I was pleasantly surprised by how well the Evo Zone Latex on these Trans Ultimates are doing. There are no tears on the palms at all, and even the abrasion zone is looking like it is in tip top shape. Overall, the Evo Zone Latex on these Ultimates performed extremely well and definitely a lot better than the other trans models when it came to durability. The Ultimate does not have the ultralight backhand that the other trans models do, and its extra stitching patterns add a lot of weight to the glove as well. For the price of about 140 US dollars or 110 British pounds, the Adidas Trans Ultimate is an expensive purchase. If you can find this in a physical store or for sure know the size that best fits you, I would say give these babies a whirl. They are super comfortable and made from the best materials on the market. But if you aren't sure with sizing and don't like wide fits like I do, I would recommend to give these guys a pass. There are better gloves on the market for lower prices. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys again very soon.